Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be very interesting because in one video you would learn everything you need to know in order to pass exams about ABO blood group system, MN blood group system and RH positive and negative factors and also you would learn how to apply rule of probability and statistics in order to solve genetics problems. So here is a problem. We have a mother with blood type uh, that is a, M and RH positive and her child who is O, M, N and RH negative. We have two potential fathers and here uh, listed the uh, phenotypes and we need to find the probability of each person to be a father of the child. If you feel that you can solve this problem on your own, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So how we are going to solve this problem? First we have to find uh, the genotypes of the parents and of the child. So as you see uh, mother, uh, mother's genotype here or phenotype here is A but uh, of the child is O. How it is possible? Especially if we consider father, potential father number one who is also belong to the genotype of sorry phenotype A is it possible or not yes it is possible if mother's genotype would be A O and if father's genotype also would be A O so as you see when we cross these two genotypes A O with A O and if we build a Punnett square we are going to get uh, following genotypes and phenotypes in the progeny AA here. Of course, this is going to be phenotypically blood group A, AO here, and this is going to be phenotypically blood group A and AO here. But here we would have OO, and this is going to be phenotypically blood group O. Genotype OO means phenotype O. So as you see we have three quarters possibility for such two parents who is going to be both heterozygous uh, for blood group A. So both of them would be A or they have three quarters of the possibilities to produce a child who is going to be um, belong to the blood group A but they would have one quarter chances to produce a child who would be who would belong to the blood group O. So uh, this parent number one would have a probability so I would list it here one quarter to produce with this particular mother a child who would belong to the blood group O. Let's now consider father number two and as you see his uh, phenotype is O. That means that his genotype is O O. So if we know that uh, mother is A O and father O O, what is the chances to get a child who belongs to the blood group O. And here we have A O and this would be phenotypically blood group A. Here we have A O phenotypically blood group A. Here we have O O and O O here. So as you see the chances that they would get a child whose phenotype would be O is one half and uh, we can list it here. So one half probability for the second uh, uh, parent to be to produce this uh, phenotype O with uh, mother whose genotype A O, and of course his genotype would be O O. So now let's consider the probability for the uh, parent number one who belongs to the blood group N 
and probability of mother who belongs to the blood group M to produce a child who belongs to the blood group MN. So is it possible or not for two parents who is different uh, phenotypes to produce a child who is going to be also different uh, phenotype from both of the parents? And as you see, uh, when we have blood group M, that means that uh, genotype is M, M. And when we have um, phenotype N, that means that the genotype would be N, N. So, um, let's build the Punnett square once again. So, mother would be M. M genotype, father would be N. N genotype, and when we build a parent square, as you see, all the progeny going to be N, M uh, phenotype and genotype, because these two alleles are co-dominant. So neither N or M is dominant over another allele, and we call such situation co-dominance. So when we have genotype MM, that means phenotype M. When we have uh, uh, genotype NN, that means phenotype N. And when we have um, genotype NM, that also means phenotype NM. So as you see, the probability that parent number one would uh, with this mother produce uh, produce the child who is going to be MN it equals to 1 so 100% because uh, on the scale that uh, I'm giving you answers uh, this is scale on the between 0 and 1 or we can say on the different scale of the percentage form, this is the same as uh, 0 and 100%. So 1 equal to 100%. So the probability here is 1, that is also, we can say, 100%. This is the same. So we can put here the probability that parent 1 would produce with this mother, child who is going to be MN genotype and uh, this is the probability would be one so what is the probability that the parent number two whose genotype is mn would produce uh, with this mother um, genotype mn in their progeny so let's once again list genotypes so mother's genotype is m M and the father's genotype would be uh, M N. So let's list this genotype M N. So we have M M on the top for mother and M N here for the second father. Let's once again build the Punnett square. As you see, it's very easy to solve this problem. And we have uh, genotypes and phenotypes here as follows. And as you see, the probability that these two parents of these two genotypes would produce uh, phenotype MN in progeny, that is here, would be one half. Uh, so one half. So we can put it also here, one half for this parent to produce uh, this uh, blood group MN. Now as for the RH positive and negative factor, we know that uh, father number one RH positive. We know that mother is also RH positive, but they both have uh, RH negative child is it possible or not 
And yes, this is possible when the genotype of the father would be RH positive, RH negative. And of course, the same applies for the mother. She also should be heterozygous, so she also have to be RH positive and RH negative. So this is a complete genotype of the mother. And uh, of course we know the genotype of the child. Here it should be OO genotype, MN genotype here. And RH negative uh, means that he have to have two alleles that would be RH negative. So um, we now know the full genotype for the parent uh, potential father number one. And uh, as you see, uh, RH, I wouldn't list RH, I just put positive and negative for the mother. And we know that uh, father number one also have to be positive and negative heterozygous. And let's find the probabilities for that progeny to be negative for this RH factor. So positive, positive here, positive, negative here, positive and negative here, and negative, negative here. So as you see, two parents who is going to be um, heterozygous, who is uh, phenotypically going to be positive. So this is genotype, but phenotype would be positive. This parent's genotype would be heterozygous and uh, phenotype would be positive because here we have uh, dominance, simple dominance. So positive factor is dominant over the negative factor. That's why when we have heterozygous we have positive uh, phenotype here. But here, for example, we have uh, codominance and that's why heterozygous would be MN blood group. So, uh, as you see, once again, the probability is one quarter. So we can put one quarter here for this uh, father to produce this genotype uh, or phenotype in uh, progeny for the RH factor in the progeny. And let's now consider the probability for the father number two. And we know that his RH uh, factor is negative, and that means that uh, his genotype is uh, negative, negative, or RH negative, RH negative. So both alleles have to be negative in order to have negative um, phenotype. And mother, as we know, is positive. You see here, she is positive, but her child is negative. That means she is heterozygous. So uh, her genotype would be positive and negative. Once again, we build the Punnett square. And as you see, here we have a positive genotype, negative gen genotype and phenotype here positive uh, phenotype here and negative uh, genotype and phenotype here. So as you see the probability here would be one half and we can list it here one half. So what have we do now? We have to multiply all these probabilities. So here the probability would be 1 over 16 and here the probability that this father uh, with this uh, mother would produce this genotype in the progeny would be uh, 1 eighth. So 1 half multiplied by 1 half would be 1 quarter and multiplied by 1 half would be 1 eighth. And if you need an answer in percentage form, 
we just have to divide 1 by 16 and y by 8 and multiply by 100. So the answer here would be the probability that uh, parent number 1 would be uh, a parent of this child uh, 6.25% and the probability that the second parent would be a father of the child would be 12.5% and this is going to be uh, our answers for today. I hope now you would be able uh, easily to solve analogous problems and as you see this is very easy and thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.